Hey, 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 Gemini, this is your sacred scribe here, ready to do your reading. So this is going to be a reading for my Gemini and Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, and North Node. This will not resonate with everybody, of course, but hopefully it will with you. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Write down below there, Gemini, if you would before you leave. I do appreciate it. And thank you so much for all of your likes, shares, and subscriptions. If you guys are interested in a personal reading, that way this is more specific to you and your questions and your needs, information can be found in the description box below. And if you're... Oh, okay. Don't forget to comment, share, like, subscribe. All right, Gemini. Looky here, Gemini. And if you guys are interested in a personal reading, make sure that you click the link in the description box as there are scammers about the tarot card community. And always know that when you, I do a personal reading for you, you will always see my face. You're not today, but you will always see my face in a personal reading that you order. All right, so we have the Tower, the Page of Cups, the Ace of Swords, and the Hierophant. Hmm. I feel like mm, I'm hearing a whirlwind of information with this tower here is coming for you. This whirlwind of information, I feel like this is from spirit. So this could be an awakening is bringing you major clarity and wisdom here. It's opening your heart chakra. Let's see what's going on. Interesting. The page of wands, Gemini, you're doing the happy dance. Gemini's gonna do the happy dance. Clarify the page of wands. What's going on? The devil. Aha. Ooh, major insights regarding Okay, I'm hearing ancestral patterns. Patterns of behavior, Gemini, but ancestral patterns of behavior. Okay. And one more. The Queen of Wands. This is going to empower you to no end, Gemini. You're going after your dreams here something there is something that hits a huge light bulb in your heart and with this light bulb illuminating from your heart it lights the way toward your dreams and you're clear you become clear about the direction of your dreams what's been blocking this direction within you how will you own how were you your own worst enemy here how were you self-sabotaging movement and with this knowledge and wisdom about the self here okay there's a commitment that comes from this to the self. Interesting. Tell me about the Page of Cups. This may also be a person here, Knight of Wands. Tell me about this. Ten of Pentacles. Whoa. Ace of Wands and the Ace of Pentacles. Yeah. So this is somebody, Gemini, coming towards you, possibly with a, an apology if it's from the past. Okay. If it is from the present and you do not know this person, 
and they're new, okay, there's a strong sexual chemistry here. They may be younger than you, Gemini. They may be younger. Clarify this Knight of Wands, please. But this person, whoever this is, wants to move fast. Six of Cups, okay. Wheel of Fortune, wow. So, <laughs> this is moving fast, but it's supposed to. That's what I'm hearing. It's supposed to. Whoever this is. I'm hearing a child at heart. I'm still unsure about player tendencies, though, here with the Knight of Wands. I tend to think that it is an aspect of themselves. And I say that because of the Ace of Wands and the Ace of Pentacles here. What's this person's intention with Gemini? Seven of Wands. Is their intention okay their intention I'm feeling is to hang on to this okay relationship and fight for it anybody who tries to interfere I feel like they're on guard here with the seven of wands there is a spiritual connection you will have a spiritual connection with this individual they want to nurture this they're very patient, or they will be patient. If they weren't patient before, they will be now. And I feel that it's because you trigger within them the desire to be patient. I feel like, Gemini, you're going to trigger within this person a lot of things that they're going to surprise themselves. For instance, like with this patient thing i feel like this person will be patient you're going to know them as patient right this is how you're going to see them but somebody who knows them would say are you crazy so you literally bring out the best in this person without even trying and they see that as magic they are amazed by that they're amazed by you gemini that's what i'm getting because of this magic that you hold you are the queen of wands here gemini that's what i'm getting even though you're an air sign that's what you're showing up as this is the wheel of fate turning in your favor here tell me about the ace of swords you're gonna wow there's gemini i feel like a lot is happening a lot is going on within you and about you it may even seem overwhelming at times five of pentacles okay wow one of, one of the things that you're going to have an awareness of gemini is feeling surrounding lack okay loneliness abandonment any of these issues bam you you're going to become clear you're going to have a lot of clarity into the self that's why this person is coming in five of cups see that the past it's like and mercury is retrograde this is the perfect time to do this gemini this is the absolute perfect time to go inward because mercury retrograde is all about communication inward right and that's what you're doing so you're looking at the past or you're being guided toward the past here toward abandonment toward guilt regrets sadness depression the star huh healing wishing it's 
tell me about the hair font. Whoa. Wow, the Ace of Cups and the Emperor. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. The Ace of Cups and the Emperor. That's beautiful. So, I knew this was an aspect of themselves. I feel like it's like you're rising to this Hierophant status, which is why you're showing up as the Queen of Wands over here. Because essentially, the Hierophant is like the Emperor on steroids, right? The Hierophant has that spiritual wisdom, that wisdom that's been gained through trauma, through heartache, pain, sorrow. You can run the gamut of emotions on this. And this is what you're healing from all of this. And with this healing, you're rising to the status of having gained this spiritual knowledge that just ascends you and your spirit. This brings in this new love. I'm getting like this softness with this love that I like. It, which is very interesting because there's a lot of power here. Like it's this silent power with the hair font and the emperor. Yet this love is so sweet. It's beautiful. Can I have one more? The Gemini. The King of Pentacles. Wow. A lot of stability. Talk about a power couple. Oh my gosh. That is strength. Quiet strength. A lot of stability. This person is reliable. This person is stable. This person is wise. They're saying wise beyond their years. So even if they're younger, they're wise beyond their years. So what is your advice? The chariot, the nine of pentacles, the king of swords. Continue to move forward. Allow the divine within you, the divinity within you to move you forward in a balanced fashion. Stay strong in your direction. Plant your feet on the ground. That's what I'm getting with the Nine of Pentacles. Plant your feet on the ground. Remain grounded, strong, yet connected to your divinity. Know and have confidence in your ability to manifest abundance autonomy but also the insight into the divinity of your soul here your soul's purpose I'm hearing mm, they're saying your soul's divine counterpart so that means this is they're saying yes this is your divine counterpart okay purpose you guys have a purpose. What is your advice? Could I have one more? I feel like I need one more from this deck. What is your advice for Gemini? Six of Pentacles. Balance. That reciprocity of give and take. Having the capability of giving to yourself and giving to another 
and no one loses out. There is no imbalance. And the King of Swords here is absolutely the one that can do it. This is you. Right? So I feel like within this balanced state here of the chariot is how you're going to accomplish this balance, this reciprocity. Okay? It just takes awareness of energy and where it goes. Right? Let's get an oracle card here, Gemini. It, whoa, that popped out. Indecision. Decide not to make a decision at this time. This will be a constructive, valid, and useful decision. So, at any point during this reading, whether it be the beginning, the middle, or even the end over there, if you're f finding that you're having a hard time making a decision, just don't make it. Don't make it for a moment and retreat to the self. Okay? Advice. Oh, secrets. Conceal plans and actions from those not ready to accept you as you are. Very wise words, Gemini. Number one rule of manifestation. If you want anything to manifest, just don't tell anybody. <laughs> All right. People insert energies, even subconscious ones at that, into plans. They can insert, you know, they can inject doubt within you just through words, through their energy. You don't need that. You want to get this manifestation moving, whether that be a dream, a career dream, right? Or a love. You want to get this rolling and have this be grounded within this reality very strong before you reveal what you're doing to anyone else. That way, by the time that happens, they can't break anything, okay? Fear. If you want to be free of fears and phobias, then you have to understand why they exist and make peace with them. So any fears, this tower here, any fears that you have, dig deeper. Why are they there? Okay. And make peace. That knowledge, that understanding has a huge impact on your peace. Okay. All right, Gemini, I hope this resonated. Please drop a like below, share and subscribe if you already haven't, if you're interested in a personal reading. That way this is more specific to you and your questions and your needs. Information can be found in the description box below. And don't forget, please use that link if you are interested in a reading as there are scammers and impersonators about the tarot card community. And know that when I do a personal reading for you, that you will always see my face and you are sent an unlisted link to this YouTube channel. And it will be on here forever and ever and ever. All right, Gemini, have a good one, and I'll catch you on the flip side on the dailies. Namaste.